Good morning. Good morning. It is T and Nelly. Uh, we all packed up, as you can tell. We are on our way to Boston for the 10-year anniversary of Boston Got Soul. You know, you got to be cozy and comfortable in the whip. Uh, yeah, it should be a great turnout, great event. Uh, see a lot of cool people, you know. Do it for her and the viewers back home. And uh, we'll be on the road, so nine, nine-ish hours, and we, we'll see you guys there. anniversary we're at fucking boston you already know we're here with the crew early birds as always one room always tends to be here not on time right Thomas? <laughs> i was in the same room <laughs> it was steven it probably was steven, steven. and ben Cow. ben i don't know what you're expecting today but i'm coming for your ass all day boy good morning here we are on a brisk boston we're in really in Wooster, massachusetts we're at dcu center for the got so 10 year anniversary uh, it should be a crazy event. Um, glad to be here pretty early. We're waiting on the guys who slept in a little bit. Steven, you snore like a cow. But regardless, we got uh, a little bit of sleep and we're here, we're ready to start unloading, start getting crazy. Let's see. Come check out the table. We're gonna have tons of energy, tons of steals, tons of love, tons of conversation, tons of coin flips, tons of fucking deals to be made on all accounts. Please come check us out. Good morning, guys. It's 7.08 right now. Just got here to the DCU Center, I believe that's what it's called, for Got So Boston. Bit of a long drive, but Alex will tell you all about our little drive. What's up, guys? You heard what Steven said. We're out here for the 10 year anniversary, Boston Got Soul. We just pulled up, left Richmond 11 a.m., so quite the road trip. You know, just straight shot. We made a few charging stops, of course. We got some good food, but yeah, we're ready to start unloading the van, the car. Get everything in, get set up for the event. So let's get it. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. We're here at the DCU Center, 10 year anniversary for Boston Got Soul. Congratulations, guys. Uh, as you can see, I'm more for a leisure fit today to fit the mood for the activities, festivities almost. I guess you could say I got my dogs out, got the Yeezy Azure slides, I got my Louis Vuitton LV, RIP Virgil for real, bruh, and the Hellstar pants. I got my Starbucks. She, I'm ready to go. Let's kill them. We're about to go crazy. Don't ever doubt Boomin, because we're about to go. Introduction. Uh, quick foot breakdown. We're gonna start with on DS the Super Bowl 31 hat. Uh, Patriots lost, but it's okay. We're gonna come out with a dub. Uh, on down to the CBFM cow jacket. Been a while since the bear pants. Brought these out for the second time. And then Grateful Dead's the mismatch with green and optic yellow. 
What do you guys think? Got crazy today. Bring in energy, bring in hype, bring in the heat, bring in the Steves, bring in the Alders, and we're gonna get crazy. Hello guys, a little fit breakdown. We got the Capitol hat on top, Louis Chang, Chrome Chain, Ninja Bob Marley T, Destroy Denim Tears, Classic Dickies for me, Tom Sachs, Chrome Socks, and had the Chrome Bracelet. Let's get it. Shout out to the small clubs, Market Market. Good old days. I cannot remember the pants actually. And then we got some Vivian on the foot. Here with another one. Alex, please tell the people what you got on today, my man. Keeping it cozy today. Got a nice little vintage. My neighbor Totoro. Studio gift. Supreme Junior pants. I was on the hunt for these for a long time. Finally found them. Shout out to Alex U Wings, he hooked it up. And then we got the Trail and SP Lowe's. Was it 2008, I believe? Uh, definitely one that I'm never selling. Oh, what's on the neck, though? What's on the neck, though? We got a little LV. Woo! Back. We officially finished up and grabbed all the pairs, all the fours, all the good stuff. See ya. Thank you so much, Thomas. We look forward to seeing you at every single event. I'm not as baller as like Bo or some of these other guys that come and buy every single pair that you have at the table, but you know, I tried I tried to come through and take some of my best sellers, which are Jordan Fours right now. We've got a couple high-end stuff, Travis Fragments and then the Great Pools, everything else are Jordan Fours. So we're gonna lug them back to Seattle and uh yeah. Sell them. Really tell them. We're gonna attempt to sell them, but thank you, Thomas. Yeah. Not even 60 seconds into the event, the doors are getting ready to open. Thomas, please, please, please tell the people what just happened. Uh, the ladies at Sneak City came by and bought all of our Jordan 4s right here, as well as uh, Yellow Grateful Deads, Cause 4s, and Travis uh, 1 Lows for 8500 So, what a way to start off the event. And yeah, let, let these doors open, see what we got. Our great buddy. He, uh, at the whatnot table, always gets all of our off white lots. He's here with a whole table full of mess. It's a 5,900 or 6,000 point flip. And he's gonna call in here, Miss Britt. He's gonna Brit do, the, do the flip the for us. Please. Whenever you're ready. 6,000. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. I don't wanna know who's under his You're calling right. it. She's the coin flipper. I'm gonna call him and I'm gonna win it. Now call him in the air. Call him in the air. Call him in the air. Tails. Thank you. 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 Uh, we have two pairs. We have off-white Serena Blazers and off-white Pressos, both brand new. Brand new. They're, they're ticketed at 2200 combined. Okay. You know, we always like to work out a deal, and a coin flip is always at, you know, at, at high demand. In the air. Sales never fails. All right, guys. Oh, my oh God. God. Hey, hey, He's not going to give me those Serenas. Uh -oh. I said, ain't no way you can lose twice. Like, I lost twice. $800 I had to overpay, but I would have got an $800 steal, so I'm still below his asking price. I like that you took this Still below his asking It's good. Oh, I'm not wearing a watch. <laughs> but I got that dough. Two of them. They always got to be dead. Boy, Thomas, fuck you talking about Boston Gossel Tay anniversary. We're gonna do a big ass straight, biggest in the history of Kicks Boom and VA. Probably not. But so we're doing, we're trying to work something out on these babies. Freddy, what's the size of nine? Nine and a half? Uh, nine. How you doing? Trying to work something out? These right here? You got these two? They're nine. Yeah, for sure. Can we see them? Thank you. You brought these today? 
venue, Very cool. Are they clean? Oh, they're super clean. Check them out right there. Hey man, stuff happens. It's cool, it's cool. But the, it's so very valuable. I would give you cash on this pair. What would you do? Uh, how much cash do I have to add? I need like 5,000 at least on top. Uh, I'll go up a little bit, um, but I'll flip for it. It's up to you. I'll do a four or 5,000 flip. These two for these. 35, 45. I'm only gonna do four or five. It's a good shoe, bro. Trust me. It's gonna, be, it's gonna be a good trade for both of us. What's up? Okay. Call in the air. Four or five thousand foot. Please be tails. No, he called it. I'll get you next time. Thank you so much. I'll see you next time. Uh, no, hell no. I lost. What's the worst speaker of all time? Oh my god. Uh... Wow, you're being yeah, I think No, no. Mismatch? Like that? Worse. Ever. There you go, exactly. I'm gonna give you a switch up. I'm on one year too. Okay. Those are uncomfortable and stiff. Okay. And just because they're one year doesn't mean they're sweet. I almost thought you were gonna say play into your bottom. No, 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 no. That was even the year that one year. Yeah, yeah, tell them. Where are you at? It better be very important. What? If it is, then what? I respect it. Obviously over here in our display cases. Um, varying from 1985 Air Jordan 1s on down to collaborative pairs with, with Off-White, Virgil Abloh's uh, uh, brand, rest in peace to, to him. Uh, going out to Travis Scott, Jordan 1s into 4s, into Air Jordan 6s as well, into 8s. And then we have right here some older and if not newer exclusive Nike SB Dunks. You know, uh, some as high as, uh, currently as most expensive pair is uh, what the dunk the price at 10000 So you, you take this display with you? Where? Yeah, uh, on our Sprinter van. Um, they're all individually boxed. And yeah, we just load up the whole uh, truck and then uh, we get here and set everything up and hopefully showcase all of our good product and just have people take pictures, record, and do whatever they need to, if not buy, sell, trade all day long. So. What shoe does a guy have to show up on on the first day to get a second date? Ooh. I like a sneaker. Okay. Because it's casual. Right. Don't pull up in your church shoes. Yeah. No dress shoes. Because usually your first date is like coffee. So I would pull up in a sneaker. Okay. Something not too flashy. Right. As long as it's clean, I'll get your second date. All right. As long so, as you're on a date with a guy and he shows up in this shoe and it's giving red flag, what shoe are you thinking of? Skechers. Some Skechers? Skechers. You're right. If you pull up in some Skechers, I don't know if we're on the same level. So, say you guys are going on a date with a guy, and he pulls up in this shoe, and immediately, it's a red flag. You said, no second date. What shoe are you guys thinking of? Black Air Forces. Black Air Forces? Okay. okay. All right, they got to go. Um, the Panda Dunks. The Panda Dunks. Okay, not the first time we've heard it. You're going on a date with a first guy, and he pulls up in it, immediate green flag, you know, you're like, all right, you get a second date. What shoe are you thinking of? Like, it doesn't really matter what the shoe is as long as it's fresh, you know? All right, I got it. Thank you very much. So, you guys are going on a date with a guy, he's pulling up in a shoe, immediately you look at it and you're like, no, no second date, red flag. What shoe are you guys thinking of right now? Black Air Forces, okay. the Air Force ones. Black, no, never. Neon green, what are they called? The ones where they're gamer shoes. No, no, okay, no, okay. No. I know I don't want to wear it out with the panda dogs. Yeah, <laughs> oh always the panda. No, you pulled up on a date and immediately you're like, no, no second date. What shoe are you thinking of? No fans. 
No Skechers. The Vans, no Vans, no Skechers? Okay, all right. Right now, off the top of your head, what would you say is the most overrated sneaker of the year? The Panda Dunks. So say you're going on a date with a guy and he pulls up in a shoe and immediately you're like, no, no second date. What shoe is in your head right now, given red flags? Uh, I'm gonna have to say like SBs. They're oh. like, they're like skatery mm -hmm. too, you know like what I mean? Like the chunky, the chunky the ones. The big chunky ones, right. yeah, too skatery. Say you're going on a date with a guy and you're immediately you're looking at his shoes and you're like, yes, you get a second yeah. date. Oh like God. it's a green flag shoe. What shoe are you thinking of? Um, honestly, I can't get mad at some Jordans, you know what okay. I'm saying? Some fours, yes, some absolutely. threes. The classics, okay. yes. Black cement oh. or um, white cement, fours. Mm -hmm. Giving red flag, like immediately no second date. What shoe are you thinking of? Oh my God. Um, What would you say is the most overrated sneaker of the year so far? That's a question you don't hear so often. I, I want to say the pandas. The pandas? Yeah. What would you say is the most underrated sneaker of the year so far? The playoff eights. Okay, the ones that just came out, right? Yes. All right. What would you say is the most underrated sneaker of the year so far? Um, underrated. That's the word that's getting me. We could do overrated. If you want to do overrated. Overrated. Overrated have to be the red boot, but everyone's saying that. Yeah. I'm going to say I'm not a huge fan of red Octobers. Okay. That's, a, a that's an interesting one. You're going on a date with a guy, and you look down at his shoes. Immediate, no second date. Like, red flag shoe. Not liking it. What shoe are you thinking of right now? Black Air Forces. Black Air Forces? All right. You heard them, guys. Get them out the closet, not the Black Air Forces. In your opinion, what would you say the most overrated shoe of the year so far is? Our classic like Air Force Ones. Okay. Like I feel like they're overrated. Like I feel like people don't love them as much as they used to. Right. You know, you know there's a there's a new lady in town. Yes. 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 I feel like the Panda Dunk might be taking that spot of the Air Force low key. You know, people hate it, but it's still a classic. You know, you gotta keep it in the rotation. So all right guys, you know we had to end it off here at the Gospel booth. Got a question for Miss Avery over here. So what is the most uncomfortable silhouette in your opinion of all Jordans? Um, I would say any retro 11 low. Okay. Uh, the retro 11 lows are definitely not good for the shoes, definitely not good for the feet. They hurt, give you blisters all day long. Um, well, thank you very much. What do you have on for today, actually? What am I wearing? Yeah, I am just these olive dunks. Okay, the olive dunks, that's a comfortable one. The olive dunks are always comfy. All right, thank you. Find Steve a pair of U toes. An 11 half or 12. It's been hard. Now they're coming out with this. What do you guys think? So a lot of people are going to be disappointed with the sizing. Okay, yeah, definitely. I heard sizing is going to be terrible. BFM's right there. We got these coming out this year. But what's your opinion? Neither, man. Neither. Yeah, are they valid? Either valid? I see two pairs here that you just do not see at these shows. You said two, some? but I see three. Oh, okay. This one's a look see sample, and it comes along with the matching they were wear Eric Emanuel short. The Nike. Uh, those were paid resale. Sadly. They're cool. They're a little regular because everybody gonna have them. So I'm gonna make my custom ones. Steven has seen something, and if something from the past got Steven's eye, it must be good. A bunch of 1985 ones just randomly appeared. Nah, this really just came out of the wild. Where, where are these guys hiding? How many offers you guys see Jordan One Lows OG? Even that metallic pack? Uh, I've had them for probably about three years now. I got them right before uh, COVID hit in the last day and spiked them up at uh, $1,800 on eBay. Didn't I say we're going on a nostalgic run? Look at this. Hey, Stevie is two for two, man. Look at these games. 64? How many of y'all played that back then? This was elementary school, Steve. So I've heard they run insanely crazy. Like, these are a seven, but feel like a nine. Yeah. Like they did with the... With the original ones, yeah. yes. But now that you have them right here, give me your initial thoughts. How are we feeling um, about them? I really like them. I love obscure shoes. Doesn't mean I wear obscure shoes, okay. but I definitely... I would probably wear them. The two traps. There you go. Oh! Yes. Oh my god. You, you did it again? Oh, yeah. Come on. 2000? Alex, you got 2000 cash? 
I don't think she's ever won. We're here. It's finally 6.40. We're 40 minutes done. As you can see on Ben's face, it's been tired. a long day. I'm tired. Just the amount of people that were coming in, left, right, front, and center, bro. All right, guys, that's a wrap. Boston got sold, you know, 10 year anniversary. Great event today. Sold a lot, bought a lot. Talked to a ton of people. Uh, I didn't get a chance to really walk around as much as I wanted to, um, but pretty much being at the setup all day was great. Uh, just seeing all new faces, familiar faces, and what surprised me was all the heat we were selling. Like, of course, the Freddy's win, and that triple bundle pack of the Off-White Air Force is pretty crazy. There we have it, guys. That's the end of Boston God Soul for the 10-year anniversary, and yet again, another movie in the making. Uh, shout out to everybody that came by. A buy sell trade all day long. Uh, it, was, it was quite the surprise for Jack, the homie Legos kicks to trade up for our Freddy Kruegers. So a very cool deal that went down. And then uh, I'd say my personal highlights of the day was to meet people that I would see at events, but we just really never found time to talk to. But you know, I'm always down to chat it up. So please stop me, take a cool picture, do whatever, follow the IG, all that. Let's not just chat up a storm. No, I'm always here to talk to everybody. And obviously, you know me. I can't wait till the next one. So I'll see you guys. Where to? DC, let's go home. There you go. 11, 11. Make wish, guys. I wish we're here. And I would do a nice little five-figure cash up before you head back home to Richmond. Here, come back from uh, Boston Got Soul. And homie, hit me up. Get some more things to sell. Um, yeah, excited to bring the good stuff back home. Let's go see. There we have you guys. Uh, went off a nice little chunk. Uh, and eleven thousand fifty dollars to get the last fifty off this coin flip called heads, and he got it. I said it was a good, uh, good choice. And yeah, it's gonna be the end of a good night. Uh, we'll pack it up and picture it tomorrow and have it for sale. So, cop up.